Welcome to another Ramble Radio, motherfucker. But it's video. Is it? Is it? Hey, I just got my bill out of committee for Don't Say Radio. Don't Say Radio. It's moving to the floor for a full vote. For now. Don't Say Radio. For now, it's also radio. Okay. All right. So there we go. And you think it's just you and I? Of course. Who else would it be? Well, get you ready for this? You ready for this? Um, What? Whatever. This is huge. Well, okay. We had a writer on the last Ramble Radio. Yeah, we did. All right. Well, the man who ghost wrote the Morbius screenplay, Cody Viafania, everybody. Wow. He is right there. Wow. Thank you for all you did. Great job, man. Great job, (laughs) buddy. It's killer. You didn't worry about continuity at all, did you? No. You just said, I'm just doing this. I'm doing whatever I want. I don't care if scenes connect. That's That was the, the brilliance of that movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, not at all. Didn't care about character development. Didn't have to make sense. Didn't have to tie into the, the, the world, even though at the end of the movie, it wants to tie in. Yes. Right. I ignored the rules that have been established. I yeah. created my own. I said, fuck everyone who- You're probably the bravest invested. writer I've ever seen. And Thank the you. best after Thank that you. movie. The oh, best. absolutely, yes. I appreciate it. Movie, I mean- yes. I, I agree, and yeah. I also thank you. Is it true you also did the makeup work for Matt Smith when he was in vampire mode? Is that true, that yeah, amazing was, makeup job on yeah, CGI? I, my inspiration was like, let me do like a shittier Voldemort from Harry oh, Potter. Yeah. And, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, okay, let's just, let's just go round the table here. Hmm. <clears throat> Is this the worst film starring a Marvel character any of us have ever seen? Now, are you going back to every let's iteration do... of Marvel character? In no, the... no, or are you, are you going? The, let's forget the shitty Captain America stuff. Let's forget the Corman Fantastic Four, right? So let's do recent. Should we start Blade? Do we go Blade on? Well, I mean, if you go just as recent as the last Fantastic Four movie, mm. I mean, to me, that's the worst superhero movie ever made worse than venom and venom too. i would rather watch venom i think than that soup than that version of the fantastic four you know that we was... came up with we we had this discussion on our show and the closest we could come up with was uh x-men apocalypse that's bad that that's movie very very Wait, bad. Was, I, have, I still haven't seen apocalypse is Ugh. that okay? If you have to pick, though, Cody, you should you have hate to watch pick. it. You should hate watch I it. I should hate watch it. You have to pick, Cody. Do you watch X Men Apocalypse or Dark Phoenix, the most Ooh. recent? Shit, Dark Phoenix. Oh, yeah. That was rough. Eddie and I went to see that, and that was a rough. Yeah, motherfucker. because Dark Phoenix has that 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 uh that like mm. twenty minute scene where they cross a street. <laughs> if you remember, yeah. it takes the X Men a while to get through that traffic. <laughs> and then they have and then that, fucking... then they have to then they have to get into the building. And that's when they make a uh, Professor X walk down the stairs Ooh, or whatever. That was Ooh, that, that was bad. the Monty Python sketch. That was the silly walk. Silly thing. walk sketch. That I gotta see how... what what's lower on Rotten Tomatoes. Is it Dude. Apocalypse or is it Dark? Phoenix? I mean, I think Ooh. Dark Phoenix might be a worse pound for pound movie than yeah. Apocalypse. Yeah, but but to take one of the great Marvel villains of all time, of all time. in a, in, a, in Apocalypse and ruin him. And ruin him in such a way. But, I mean, the Phoenix Saga is such a great story. The Dark know, Phoenix they, Saga. Boy, they killed it. They killed I mean, it. and also the balls to try to do it in one film. The, she loses, Cody, t- for perspective. It took, what, three years in the comics for Gene to yeah. first get the idea of this Phoenix entity and then for it to actually just take her over. You it know, took years. It should it, literally be an MCU Infinity Stone saga. Absolutely. This is told for the Dark gradually Phoenix saga. over time. I, yes. I actually forgot about Dark Phoenix. That might be the answer. It might Dark Phoenix I think Dark Phoenix is probably worse than Fantastic Four. Because like Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four is so bad. Though. It's bad, but it has that I think the Doctor Doom bit in Fantastic Four is actually kind of cool. I think it has like ten good minutes. Right. And I don't know if I can say that about oh. Dark Dark Phoenix. Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to think of what was fun about Morbius. What was there any? Because see, again, I didn't fun? like the or just just a cool moment. I didn't like the Batman, but that scene where the Batmobile fires up is fucking awesome. And as shitty as the Michael Bay, I know it's not comic book, but the Michael Bay Transformers movies, that first one had that awesome shot 
where Starscream was just taking out the other fighter jets by transforming in and out and destroying them. Like, that was amazing. Everything else sucked. That was cool as shit. I don't know if Morbius had that. Well, at least that was cool. I'm trying to think of... The only thing where I looked, when I was sitting there watching the movie, was at the, the final battle between him yeah. and Bad Voldemort. His outfit. His outfit, when he had the bats flowing around, he was, he was directing the bats, and he right. had his purple cape flowing, and his eyes finally went red. Like Morbius. It finally looked like the comic book. And I was like, okay, that's yeah. a cool visual for about 30 seconds. Right, right. Yeah. And that's about it. That's yeah, it That's was. about it. I the the continuity problems are the more you think about this movie, the worse it gets. Like I will say at least Venom 2 had a pretty it, it was shitty. But there was a pretty north. Like you, you could follow the plot. Yeah, you could follow. It went from like, A to B to C to D yeah, to E. Yeah, it was pretty okay. It's not good, but this was just like, why even show him win the Nobel Prize? It was so dumb. Like it was like that's a scene you keep in. Like you just like it's just this pointless. Like and what happens to the little girl that he saved? Like that was. Yeah. I mean, I tell you the one thing that was because Cody sent me a really funny article on the Ringer, like all the continuity errors. Yeah. One thing they didn't mention that my biggest, one of my biggest problem was how you have uh, Tyrese Gibson and Al Madrigal playing two fairly grizzled and hardened detectives who instantly go vampires. You know when they <laughs> see like they're just like oh, there's no blood this, in these bodies. Vampires. Yeah, this is instantly the work of vampires. Like, and what? of course they know that there's no blood in the bodies just from I don't know looking at them. Just looking like, at them. <laughs> there's no like toxicology, there's no They're there's pretty pale like guys. These guys are pretty pale. <laughs> but they they say it matter of factly not. It it looks like their blood's been drained. Right. They say the blood has been drained from all of <laughs> from their bodies. This is a word only one thing we know can do that. Like we're you're already leaping to vampire. That. You're already jumping to that fucking conclusion. You're already gonna go that had to be vampires. Jesus. I I think I'd rather I know I'd rather watch the Snyder Justice League movie again than that. I think that's how bad more. I mean, yeah, I court. I mean, there were some moments in Snyder Justice League. I don't like outside of that thirty second shot in Morbius. I don't know. If yeah. There's something. But then you said there was a scene, a cut scene where the guy had a metal arm, Tyree. Mm -hmm. A, Tyrese Gibson's so character. In, I, there's Cody, obviously a lot of stuff cut out of this movie. There's a whole right. other movie I think that was cut out of this movie. So like, is this a is this a result of a studio coming in and chopping up a movie, or is this a bad movie from the get go? Well, so the That's other thing that question. factors in heavily is that if you watch the trailers, Michael Keaton is in the trailers. Yeah, early in on scenes that are not in the movie. Yeah. So so one. Like you go in knowing that Michael Keaton's in it, and you're like, "Where is he?" And then he shows right. up in the stinger, which eliminates the point of the goddamn surprise stinger. Right. But, but number two is that uh, this movie took so long to come out that I think they had to cut it in order to make it fit with No Way Home. So I think that this was mm. actually initially supposed to come out before No Way Home. Right? Yeah. These Maybe previews. Added... These previews came out like early 2020. 2020. Yeah. Yeah. And so. And so I think they had to retrofit it and maybe take some stuff out. But again, like even if you're looking at the post credit sequence and stuff, it doesn't follow any kind of logic. No. Like, so, I, I mean, I think we can probably spoil it on here because who gives a fuck? It sucks anyway. <laughs> but like, but like one, number one, the, like the, the multiverse thing is not sending people out of the MCU right. other, elsewhere, right. but yet somehow... That's what happens with Adrian, Adrian Toom just gets kicked out. He just of gets the kicked out for no reason. The whole thing is a spell that Doctor Strange lets out that that is bringing it gets messed up and it's bringing everyone who knows Peter Parker into that universe. Right. That's it's the not, spell. It's not it's kicking not people out. It's not sending them out. It's not it, sending people out that know Peter Parker. It's yeah. Man. So that's number one, and then number two, which I think Jerry pointed out at first, and then it was in the article, which is that uh, how does he have his suit in this universe? Right. There's no made, alien war in this universe. So there's no tech. And it's the exact suit. Yeah. From yeah. Home, from Homecoming. It's the exact suit. It's not there's no difference. Yeah. It oh man. And I, why would Morbius have anything why why would he give a shit about Spider-Man at all in this universe but yet Tombs is like, "Hey, we should do something." And he's like, in, I'm, intrigued, "I'm intrigued or whatever." Like, like what the why? fuck? Let's get Spider Man. It, I'm listening. Like, um, well, like, what? Okay. I don't know okay. who you're talking about, but sure. <laughs> yeah, let's go fuck this guy up. Like, 
And, and, and it, again, the weirdest part, it would have – I could understand a little bit of it if he had been a bad guy. But Morbius right. is a hero the whole – like, The whole he, movie. He's I mean, fighting he, against – yeah. He's, yeah, I mean, he t- the only people he kills were the mercenaries who yeah. – that was the thing I was going to – when they when we first showed him, that, that article brought it up, and I was going to ask Eddie – it's like, why are they on a boat with armed mercenaries in the first place? Like, why aren't they just on a boat? <laughs> why couldn't yeah. they just? He's not rich enough that that fucking uh, Milo guy can't get him a fucking boat to go. They have to go get this. Milo's like, got a yacht. I'm sure Milo he's has got a, yacht. a yacht. Like, there's it, it was so Wh- dumb. Which, which, by the way, uh, how? how? What does Milo do exactly? <laughs> like, like, he's like, rich. He's just rich, guys. It, at least, at least a throwaway line. But like right? he's rich, he's rich to the point where in the movie you never see him do anything. Yeah. So he's seemingly like like retired or like right. like, like something happened. I mean, to you the- even I mean even in Iron Man you saw Tony Stark building shit. Like you saw him working. Like it. Just- and isn't there some throwaway line about him not finishing law school or something? Yeah. Yes, it's it's so I guess, but at least <laughs> say something about where you know his fucking parents you know own all the fucking power providers for the city you know what i mean whatever right. and they just and he inherited billions upon billions. and if he's this rich wouldn't his parents just sort of had the doctor come to their mansion and tend to their child why instead send of him away him instead of throw him into a glorified orphanage yeah we're gonna send you to greece we're gonna stick you on a fucking plane with this condition and ship you off to Greece. Next like, to next to the low rent school with the bullies. Yeah, next yeah. to the fucking bullies. And school. they and they go out of your way to show that Morbius is like super gifted, but this kid's not. So like he's just where a like showed. Yeah. yeah. It, it <laughs> but, was... but then he's some but then he becomes the rich benefactor of Morbius. What yeah. also did and one thing the article brought up that I completely forgot watching it was you know a doctor had to specifically find the place on Morbius's spine to inject him with the serum. How did the Milo guy just do that at his house by himself? I, I mean, it's just, there's no way that the other doctor guy would have agreed to it. You know what I mean? Like that mentor guy who didn't age a day in 30 years. Like, they, there's no way he would have agreed to it. Like, mm-hmm. oh, man. And, and the balls in them to go, we're going to send you to a school for gifted kids in New York. And Eddie and I were both like, is this the X-Men? Are they teasing the X-Men? Because, Cody, in, in the comics, the X-Institute is always a, gift, a school for mm-hmm. gifted children in New York. Right. So, and they say that line in the movie. Yes. It. it oh, man. It, it, there's so many. It's just error after error after. And, like, and here's, I think what's, what's interesting is, I think what also really hurts this movie for even casual fans of comic book films and tv shows is moon knight is doing the same thing it's introducing a not popular character right but and it's very mysterious like if you're watching but at least you're like well i'm interested you know what i mean like they're this movie i don't know like i was telling uh my cousin i think i told eddie that might have told cody this too morbius should have debuted as a villain in a spider-man film who showed some kind of semblance of being a good person deep yeah. down, right? And like Doctor Octopus was, yeah. and then, and then Spider Man puts him away. You don't fucking see right. him, and then, and then maybe as a surprise, he shows up out of nowhere to help Spider Man fight right. the Sinister Six, just like Venom should have been. And, and then you give him a movie. Yeah. Maybe if that all works out, then but this, but is, this was this is Sony's issue because they've lent Spider-Man to the MCU right. and now they want to build the Spider-Verse with all these characters and not a Spider-Man. Right. Yeah. And it, it just, makes no sense because none of these spy, none of these characters function without Spider-Man. Cody, what did you tell me that Jared said about the end credit scene? It was so funny. His oh quote. yeah. Uh, let me get, let me get the quote here. <laughs> Cause we were, we were talking a little bit about how it doesn't make sense in the context of, uh, of anything that they've built so far. Right. Uh, and uh, let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> it's a great line. Oh. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think oh, Moon here we go. Knight, how good Moon Knight is, is like shameful to what Morbius, because it's just, it's very similar. You're taking two rather right. obscure characters. And the beginning when he's catching the bat, he just puts his hand through that wire to catch the bat. Like, how does he catch all the bats? Right. <laughs> Right. And there's just like a, there's like there's like an old mattress with some wire on it and he's got his <laughs> hand through it 
And then the bats are attacking the guys in the helicopter. And next thing and you know, he's got one, a bunch of he's got his a bunch one of bats. right out left. Who his only ride took off? How did he get out of there? Yeah, <laughs> I so, don't get. So Jared's line, uh, quite like making fun of the the final sequence. Which, by the way, there's two in credit sequences that both accomplish the same exact thing. Could have been right. one. You didn't you need, need a both. both right. Absolutely. But it, the line was, hey, I heard about you. I hate Spider-Man, who you don't know, but we should fight him, but he's not here. That's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. And Morbius, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Yeah. What like, a disaster. I mean, and Adrian Toom's first line coming through was like, well, I hope they got better grub in this joint. Not, like, where's my wife and kid? Am I ever going to see my wife and daughter or, again? Seriously, what the hell just happened? What the fuck just happened? I di- all these crimes I committed were for my wife and daughter. Where are they? Like, you don't think that would be the first thing? <laughs> Not just, I hope they got better grub in this joint. Oh, God. It was just, man. That, How does a person write that line? It's bad. A professional That's, screenwriter what? write that line. How does a no. professional screenwriter write the line, I don't know, I think it has something to do with Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Oh, wait, okay, so that's his first thought, is, oh, Spider-Man, who's shown no teleportation powers ever, yeah. has magically teleported me to another dimension. He's put me in an alternate universe. It just, oh, man, it was bad. It was, I, again, I was, like, Moon Knight, I don't know. I don't know if Moon Knight's going to be great or not, but it was a fucking steak dinner compared to the fucking cafeteria food we had with Morbius. Yeah. It was like, oh man, it was the just, final the final minute and a half of Moon Knight was better than anything in and Morbius. There was anything in Morbius. That was and that was legit awesome when you just have specters at one reflection going here, let me. Come on, just yeah, let just, me do that yeah. you finally see that. It's a great scene. Fucking great. And then <laughs> God, that was. Are we spoiling? Have you seen Moon Knight yet, Cody? Yeah, I've seen the first four. Of Moon you Moon. Oh, what the fuck! Damn. Mm-hmm. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Can I tell you my one problem that I had with Moon Knight? Because I really enjoyed the first episode, but in the opening scene, I think it would have helped if Ethan Hawke's character, with every step, was like, "Ah, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> son oh, of a bitch! What have I done? Oh, what? Jesus, son fuck. of a bitch! <laughs> like that would have been a better. Like, oh, oh, mama. Be, oh, I'm mama. not doing this again. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus mama. Christ, never fucking again. Oh, <laughs> oh mama. Cool. Oh, Jesus. But Cody, mm-hmm. I think this is exciting. Are mm-hmm. they gonna go for it? You might know already. I Are might. they going to redeem Apocalypse? Because Apocalypse was from ancient Egypt. You have Oscar Isaac right there. Could this be their way of maybe introducing Apocalypse into the MCU? Maybe it's not. What was that? That Screen Crush video. The guy had a pretty good point about like that'd be kind of cool if Apocalypse was one of those betrayer gods who betrayed Amit, right? And started all this and then that caused the creation of the x gene and of the mutants i don't know but that would have been i'm Mm -hmm. hoping i'm I'm thinking maybe they redeem apocalypse with this show um because oscar isaac is a big wolverine fan anyway so be kind of maybe they could use him to introduce the x-men i don't know but (laughs) man i can't i can't wait for this rest of the show and let's hope but Morbius is like doing okay money wise, right? So it made like thirty nine million opening Jesus weekend. Jesus Christ! Yeah. I bet the, 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 the come on, the drop off has to be huge, right? I, I, I mean, it's know. definitely not going to get any good word of mouth. That's no, for sure. it's getting okay. trashed everywhere. When we saw it, there wasn't like maybe one person. One okay, I was an asshole. I feel bad. What is it about that theater, Eddie? What is it about that Cinemark? That's the one where they where a guy murdered somebody at the Burger King next yeah, door. We got to stop Eddie, going there. Eddie, Andre, and I were seeing Ready Player One. Did we tell you this story, Cody? No. And someone got killed at the Burger King right behind the theater, and they thought the suspect ran into the theater. So halfway through Ready Player One, it was during the Shining scene. Remember yeah. when they're in the Shining? All the lights turn on, and these and all like eight cops with shotguns start walking in now i didn't see <laughs> i just saw the lights turn on while the movie was still playing <laughs> and, and i may maybe four seconds went by maybe four seconds went by before he got so angry he had to get up out of his seat i literally set up like what the fuck and then i see cops with shotguns and I'm like, oh god okay never mind <laughs> No, but you had gotten up out of your seat and started walking up the aisle. Yes. And then you see him. And then you turn around and come back. 
<laughs> Literally so four, four seconds went by before I'm you like, got so angry. Fuck? God damn it. And I was like, oh, shit, never mind. But, <laughs> but that so at the end of Morpheus, Morbius, one person started clapping. Yeah. On our and I said, "What are you doing?" I just said, "Stop! Don't not like what? <laughs> who who don't, applauds for this shit? Who I think applauds you said for out. this? Shit. I think I said out loud. Who applauds this shit? I think that theater is built on an ancient Indian burial ground, <laughs> and when you go in there, bad things just happen. I just get demonic. It, it, I was so mad at that person. Like, why are you clapping for this? Jerry's gonna go into the bathroom and start peeling his face off. Yeah. <laughs> Have you never seen a fucking movie in your life? You're <laughs> clapping for this fucking thing? Like, Jesus. Oh, uh, well, I, oh. this, I hate to do this. Oh, this man. W- w- rough way to end the week. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh. Contractually. Skeletor. Um, what did you think of Morbius? Well, Eddie, that's a wonderful question, and I'm glad you've asked me. Uh, I've got to say, movie of the year. I'm just going to put it out there. I, I'm sorry I was I, uh, busy the, the heating up some dinner, so I didn't hear any of what you guys were talking about. But holy shit, that was fucking great. I, I couldn't believe how, I mean, his friend uh, snuck in a whole thing of blood for him to drink in the prison. And he got away with it. I was like, holy shit, this guy's fucking slick. He can pull off some slick fucking moves. And I, you know, and I'll tell you what, too, I got a standing ovation when I saw it uh, in the theater. Standing uh, ovation. Standing ovation. I had all of my, you know, buddies. We all came. We saw the film, and it was about over 4,000 people were there because it wasn't a traditional theater. We were screening it inside He Man's mother's pussy. <laughs> you got, huh? Still a really good movie. Wow. That's, that's, uh. That might be the worst thing you've ever said. I know. Wow. Uh, oof, that was. Is do you guys still say badass for cuz that movie was badass. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's so fucking that is. <laughs> you know I cried a little bit when his girlfriend died, the doctor, and I I thought, "Oh, well, that sucks. She was a wonderful person. We're never going to see her again." And then you do. She's alive. I was I was I cheered. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Wonder- I'm sorry, Cody. I know you generally have to follow me, but real quick, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did because you, you're the film critic. Yes. Did you see it coming where his friend was going to be the bad guy? I was like, holy shit! Where did this come from? Uh, well, actually, that is kind of something that's been done maybe a, a, a time or two in a, in a movie where. Get the fuck out of here! No, I'm okay. Well, that's, um, that was the most predictable yeah, part of it. I mean, I. Sort of, yeah. Ooh, I, Cody, I'm, I'm really sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, mm. it's, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, Cinesnob yeah. podcast. If you want to hear 20 more minutes of Morbius bashing, <laughs> we've got, we've got you covered. We got you. Um, uh, as well as uh, bashing the new Judd Apatow movie, which is whew. really <laughs> is that is yeah. that is that streaming only or is that theaters yeah. as well? It's a Netflix movie. Oh, but that's one with Karen Gillian, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, oof. Um, wow. Uh, but yeah, send us not podcast, uh, send us not Cody on Twitter and give us a five star review, positive text rating or five star rating, positive text review, um, on Apple podcasts. If you get an extra second in your day, I think Andrea started watching that movie and then I think she stopped after like 10 minutes. <laughs> I that Netflix one. I'm pretty sure oh. it's, like, I'm, I'm out. It's Ooh. rough. Ooh. Oh, we, in fact, we had a, we had a conversation on our show where we were actually trying to figure out which was worse, the bubble or Morpheus or uh, Morbius. Wow! It, and it was a conversation. <gasps> wow. It wasn't just a slam dunk Morbius. No. <laughs> wow. wow! No. Point counterpoint. Wow. <laughs> there were Eddie, arguments to be made the... for both sides. <laughs> wow! Damn. Where can all the fine folk find you, Eddie? Uh, five days a week, Patreon.com, the Ralph Ooh. Report. Uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, Ramble Radio, and then Wednesdays we got Ramble Proper. There we go. You can find me in all these ramble shows with all these fine young gents here. Uh, I also have my YouTube video, my YouTube uh, channel up and running again. Uh, it's just YouTube forward slash my name, Jerry Rocha. And I'm on Twitch playing retro games, Retro Rocha, twitch.tv forward slash Retro Rocha. Soon we're going to be doing some Monday Night Football and with these two guys. It's going to be fun. So find us. You know where to find us. We love you guys. Stay safe. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.